the bar of heaven is open. Living waters intoxifying like living wine have come. Can you drink? Because if you do, you'll never thirst again. Christ says so. Love from love, hope from hope, peace from peace from the Master. Who will come and feed the Master's household meat while the Master is away? Christ asked. And of the end time, latter day Daniel, who embraces his destiny as Elijah, the covenant messenger of Malachi 3 1, it is I. Christ never gave his covenant ever, not once was those words ever in his mouth of Jeremiah. I will be your God, says the Lord God, his message. You will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity. I will never remember it, sending Satan to the pit for a thousand years. And the Lord says, and I will write my law and my love on your hearts. Beyond that, no one will ever need to be taught of me, says the Lord, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. And all of us have, if we had our love flowing as a little child. So raise your hands unto heaven and have open hands in order to receive that which Christ would like to put into your hands. And it's time to raise him up and ex extol him because as we do, it increases our own love because it is him living in us. Love is not of itself. Love is his name that uh, the Lord was given by John. Those who love are born of God, are born again and know him because he is love, capital L. And John the Beloved wrote, prophesied that when the everlasting covenant and the everlasting gospel comes of Revelation 14, his words, not mine, must go to all people, all tribes, to all nations, that those who love are born again of him. So praise God and lift him up always because he alone is the eternal jubilee of love, the, our living celebration and the everlasting Passover from death. He is the carpenter of the ages and he has dropped the plumb line of Amos uh, for the great restoration of Acts 3.21 so he's not kept in reserve in heaven. And the hammer of his, uh, hammer of God is the rod of his mouth. And he has decreed that I would be a strong and mighty one, line by line, precept by precept, uh, a latter day writer that would come forth and that all those who readeth it may run because these are days of alarm. The alarm of Zephaniah 1 that there will be no birds, no fish, no man left on earth if people will not loosen up their love for these are the days when the carpenter of the ages has revealed that he is the renovator of all restoration and the living hammer of God. Uh, he is the consortium of lost rewards as well as the crux of love's uh, most beautiful crucible and the most magnificent obsession that Joanne McFadden always sings about. That's one of her songs. Listen to that woman. I, I have her... Uh, this is uh, uh, The Invitation by Steve Swanson and uh, Joanne McFadden. Beautiful. So praise the Lord that he is the emancipator of fear and his perfect love through us can help us cast away all fear because it's been a, a world of festering fears and tears and only our love can bring us forth. Love is the answer to all things because our Lord God said that unless, unless these days were cut short by his word, no flesh could be saved. Hear him now. There is no way to cut time short except by the living word of God Almighty. And his word was only closed until the time of the end, Daniel 12, 9, because these are the days of the latter day, Daniel, and by them, the vision of God, as Daniel 12 says, within a time, times and half a time, shall come the shattering of the power of the holy people as religion collapses on earth. And, and, and God never tears down unless he replaces it with something better. And instead, 
all across the circle of earth. It'll be like Rose of Sharon and Lily of the Valley all over. The prophetess Baba Vanga said that in those days it would be like a brotherhood of love arising from the golden age. Uh, the apostle Peter uh, and Paul rather said in Hebrews 8 that when those words come, I will be your God, you will be my people, that all religion on earth would be obsolete. And Muhammad said that in the Quran, in the Hadith rather, that someday his people would belong to another that sounds like Islam. It's Chrislam. Israel is a brand new name, Isaiah 62 too, because they've inherited all mankind. They've inherited the Christians and the Islamics. Isaiah 54 3 predicted very clearly that in these days this would happen because of a book proving God's mercy upon us, which is the book of Jeremiah 31. And then he said, and then the distortions would go away. So praise the Lord that um, our God is proving to be the uh, oblivion of all spiritual uh, racism. And it's time that people of the earth realize that if I am who I am claiming to be, I am the director of heaven on earth. And no one is doing anything other than just ignoring me. But that's okay. I'm another Noah building an ark to get us through the hump. And the truth is, it was foretold in Isaiah 49, 4. I do everything for, in vain. Ignor I'd be ignored. Even Israel would ignore me, Isaiah 41. They wouldn't say a mumbling word. But it says that the messenger from the North Canada, am I, uh, that the rest of the world would come to realize I'm right about everything that I'm preaching. This message has been foretold since the beginning. I am Shiloh, Genesis 49, 12, one whose eyes are red and dull of wine. I am the alcoholic of Genesis uh, 49's reflection in Habakkuk 2. One transgressed by wine, but the just will live by my faith because I am the strong and mighty one. And my faith is already as hell's flames and would never be satisfied as I embrace all people of the earth unto our risen good shepherd over all the flocks of man, Isa Yeshua Jesus. And know that our living love of the ages, he's singing in silence over one and all of us. And it's time that we will realize that our living love of the ages, he fully understands that his overflowing love alone always produces a most beautiful flowering of our own love's greatest vibrant glory, since he shapes us all by what we choose to love or choose to hate. And people hating this channel, they will have dung from their feasts, Malachi 2, pushed by God into their faces, if they will not embrace that which glorifies his kingdom of love and peace in this world. And it's time that he is now bringing forth a full revelation of this absolute truth of our beloved's, uh, his most loving inspiration that can make our formerly sickened souls to crawl out from past hiding places where the disease of loneliness always did its very best job to rob us all of healthy, loving relationships, especially in these days of COVID-19 the trial of all flesh that's come bringing God's word of patience to keep us from the hour of the temptation not to change by his love. These are the days of Revelation 3. And But praise God, the, I am the bringer of the, 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 the vision of God. And his glory shall cover the earth as waters cover the seas, as grass cover the land, as uh, the stars cover the skies, people. And it's time. So praise God that we will all arrive on the other side and inherit the promised land for those keeping our life, our love alive as a child, committing an blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. And then we will all say that we can be confronted in the day of disaster and comforted rather and by the Lord because he will be our support. He will bring us out in, from the spacious place he will rescue us because he delights in us and he will shield all of us who are taking refuge within him. For he arises as the son of love with healing under his wings for all. So I ask you, who, who 
for who is God besides the Lord? And who is the rock except our God, the rock of the ages? The Lord lives. So praise be unto the rock. Exalted be God our Savior. Therefore, let us all praise the Lord among all the nations and sing praises of his name evermore. So these are the days of Elijah and welcome, love from love. And know that we will be like the flowing of waters. Truth shall of love shall unconditional love will flow from our mouth and from our lips we will declare love's most sweetest fruits. And he will cause his knowledge of unconditional love to abound within our hearts because the mouth of the Lord is the true word and the entrance of his light. I tell you truly, the moment that the knife was pulled, Abraham, over his son Isaac, within that moment it guaranteed that Emmanuel would come forth. Otherwise, it only would have proved that man could love God more than God could love man. So these are the days when light and nothing but light meet is upon this latter-day mountain of food of Isaiah 25. And know that in these days that the Most High has given unto all of us the generations of understandings of his love in motion and the ocean of his adoration is now being poured out from heaven upon all flesh uh, and so that we can become interpreters of his beauty and narrators of his glory as we all become confessors of his purpose and preachers of his mind and teachers of his most loving works for the subtlety of the word of love is inexpressible and it is like his utterance so uh, just like his utterance it is also alive with swiftness and passion and fervency and acuteness for the limit limitlessness is his progression and he, his word never fails but it always remains standing even one cannot comprehend his glory and uh, his way that is above all of our understandings but let the beloved understand now that as his work is so is his expectations for he alone is the living light of glory and the dawning of all loving thought and by him the generations have spoke uh, to one another and all those that were silent can acquire the speech of love moving as a little child as a verb renouncing the ways of the locking walking dead renouncing our love dying being as a noun having a form of godliness but denying the power of love who is god supposed to be living in us many are going to say lord lord he's going to say get away i don't know you you committed spiritual suicide you let your love die right out which was my light me living in you don't do it, people. Stir up your love unto overflow. And understand now that from him came love and equality because he is love. He is equality. He has never favored one blade of grass over another. And praise God that we can now all be stimulated by his word anew coming forth from the heavenlies because he is preaching harmony and mercy and the melody of that song of love is amazing for the mouth of the most high is singing in silence over each and every one of us and the uh, uh, prosperity shall be ahead for all walking towards the direction where he is pointing it is the direction of peace and know that the dwelling place of the word is man and his truth is love Blessed are they who by means of the Lord God can perceive all truth of his glory because we are angels in the flesh. Jesus said in John 10, we are God. I tell you the truth, first is last, the last is first, and the glory of his latter house is greater than that of the former. And that is why the Bible says we will be as the angels because it's exactly what we've always been. It was foretold by Paul that in the latter days from the revelator, uh, Elijah would come to truth the, and all the creation has been groaning with great expectation for that revelation because we haven't even known who we are so praise the Lord and pass this ammunition hide not these uh, videos of 
God's overflowing love and light, hide them not under a bushel. Blessed are all those who by means of him, our living Lord of love, uh, will know the fullness of his truth. Hallelujah. Amen. And open your heart. Open your hand. Receive God's word of unconditional love. For there has never been any divine love whatsoever that has ever been conditional. I guarantee you that.